Hello, welcome to AfriNext Connections. I am Ohimai Amaize. I'm joined today by Musa Kondo, the Executive Director of the Sahel Institute. Hi, Musa. Hi, Omar. Thanks for joining me today. It's my pleasure. Yeah, so let's get right into it. What do you think are the biggest challenges facing young people in Africa today? And how confident are you about finding solutions to these problems? Thank you so much for this question. Uh, this is a, a really important point right now as uh, the country is going through a lot of uh, problems and also uh, innovative solutions to solve these problems. One of the biggest challenge in the continent right now is uh, a lot of countries have taken the youth out of the conversation. Despite there are the majority in many countries, not to say in Africa. So how can we solve a problems or a design solution for a group of persons if they are not part of the conversation? And this, many will explain about a lack of experience, a lot of uh, many other stuff. But for us, whatever they are literate or not, whatever they live in the cities or rural areas, they have to be part of the conversation. So the solution is designed for them by them including. So for me, this is the very first point to solve the problems and get African young people part of the, the process. Now let's talk about the digital transformation. Uh, how is this impacting young people in the communities where you work? Uh, is impacting incredibly, I would say, very positively. Because when it started, people have been asking a lot of questions about how uh, the li digital literacy and digital inclusion would be. And this is one of the biggest part of the project we're running in Sahel Institute. Because we have seen whatever we need or we want, we will find a way. And when the digital mobile money started in the continent, We've seen a lot of people join it and understood how it functions. And from there, a lot of small enterprises and businesses started uh, funding and also running and uh, based on digital mobile money. So now, a lot of solutions have been creating around digitalization and also finding solution and a new solution for the problems that have already existed in the continent and also in many countries. So digitalization for me is an incredible opportunity for the youth, but also the reverse side exists. But now, I will not focus on that right now, but I would say it's an, great, an incredible opportunity for the youth. I was actually gonna bring you to that, because I mean, what are the challenges you are experiencing right now in terms of digital transformation? So the digital trans transformation brings the conversation and also the fact in the fields people don't People don't know, and they're experiencing sometimes for the first time. And when we see the digital money I'm talking about, there is a lot of scams around that. When people have been ruined, some businesses have been ruined because scammers also get many knowledges about it, and they also take advantage and explore at that side. That's one thing. The second thing, the new coming apps or initiatives in digital space, like uh, artificial intelligence, based contains are doing a lot of crazy things. And also when you add uh, the connection with the political use of digital things, how they are fooling people on how they, from uh, the populism, from the propaganda, based on very design disinformation to control people's mind. And this is one of the, 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 the biggest consequences and challenges we're facing in digitalization because once you, you target a group of people and the audience, with, with one click, you can get to millions of people right away. Right. But also the ones as, uh, so one of the, the combating disinformation and uh, inclusion is one of the things we are doing also in Sahel Institute by using local languages in WhatsApp radios in the country. Amazing. AI is the big thing now. I mean, I'm happy you talked about it. What do you think are the prospects for innovation in Africa with the introduction and the explosion of artificial intelligence right now, with ChatGPT and all that is going on around the world? What opportunities do you see for African young people? And what, what could be the challenges? So uh, the opportunities first is these are amazing things, for sure. They are solving problems uh, in health, education, and other 
important sectors in agriculture around the world. So that means Africa cannot be out of this conversation. But what we can do is like how civil society organization, activists or other experts could early invest in education and digital literacy about these tools. So people understand what they are made for, what they are designed for, what we can do from them, and how we can use properly and responsibly. Because whatever we're having today, it, it could be digital or not digital. If we don't use it with responsibility, that means we may have consequences and problems out of it. Right. So now investing in understanding and owning so we can use it the right way, for sure this will be like uh, getting us and the youth in the continent solve problems like centuries would not let solve them right, right now. Very quickly, as we, as we close, uh, what are the big things, the major things you would like to see African youth accomplish for themselves? Oh, this is a big question. <laughs> Thank you so much for asking this. So, you know, uh, one of the things I've seen as a personal, this is the creativity and the resilience of the youth in, in Africa. And now, getting them part of the conversation, I mean, political conversation, I mean, economic conversation, economic inclusivity, would make them safe from all the other danger going around them. Because being youth is not a skill, is a trend of age with energy, with creativity, with uh, everything, vivacity, everything you can think from human perspective. And if you can use this for the right way and the right direction, for sure, they will definitely change the fate and the destiny of Africa.